Welcome to this retrospective slash review for ESWAT City Under Siege, the game I just completed yesterday. And I want to give you my brief thoughts on the game. And um, yeah, pretty much, let's just jump right into it. So let me start by saying that the way that I played the game was via RetroArch, and I used the Blastem Core, which has become my uh, pretty much my go-to a core for Genesis games now under RetroArch seems to do a little bit better of a job when it comes to unlocking achievements via retroachievements.org. So if that's something you want to do with this game, which I highly encourage if you're going to play it, then that's how I would go about playing it nowadays. And now as far as purchasing the game, the game can be purchased on pretty much any platform that you can think of as part of the either Mega Drive or Genesis Classics collection. In fact, I bought it on Steam for the exorbitant price of 99 cents. And uh, honestly, I can just say right now that for that price, this is definitely a, a good buy. It's not something that, you know, 99 cents isn't going to break the bank. And not only that, when you get done playing it, if you're not a big fan of the game, then it's not like you're really out of a lot of money or anything. So, yeah, I think 99 cents is definitely something worth getting. Now, what you're seeing here in the background is I just went ahead and made another video of me playing through the game initially and uh, trying to get a couple more achievements, actually. And, uh, well, that didn't actually work out, but more on that later. <laughs> but basically... Um, this game is actually, you know, it's it's interesting. I saw a lot of pretty bad reviews for the game, to be honest with you. And uh, that's kind of surprising to me because, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the greatest game ever because it's not. But at the same token, it's not a bad game either. Um, it's, it's definitely, I played much more frustrating games than this one. On the Genesis. Now, I, I, I want to keep that in, in perspective here. I've played more frustrating games on the Genesis compared to this one, and I don't think this game is bad at all. In fact, I, uh, you know, just to keep things level, basically, I, after I got done doing my playthrough session, what I did was I went back through and tried to play it as I would on a Genesis back in the day. So, no save states at all, just from beginning to end. And I beat it in less than, um, less around 40 minutes, basically. N now, granted, I was much more um, familiar with the game, obviously, and I did very well. So, I mean, you know, back in the day, I probably would have had to play through it multiple times to get through everything and you know, beat it, but at the, but it's not that difficult of a game. So a lot of the um, negative reviews that I see for it on both retro achievements, on how long to play, uh, just a lot of people with some pretty <laughs> poor attitudes of the game, and I'm not really sure why that is. Um, I per personally think the graphics in it are actually pretty good, uh, especially for an early Genesis title. I mean, are they the, the absolute best graphics? No, probably not. But at the same token, they're, they're, they're decent. They get the job done. Um, they're not horrible. So, I mean, that's just the way I feel about it. It's like, you know, I, I've seen worse games, even on the Genesis, uh, for sure. So I, I don't think the graphics are bad. They're not phenomenal or anything, but they're not bad. They're they're good. They're good graphics. The music, likewise, is also mostly good. Um, I, I say mostly good because the uh, the boss music is one of those catchy tunes that just kind of gets in my head, it gets in your head, and sticks there. So that was probably the most memorable uh, track on this entire you know soundtrack. But the the rest of it's not you know, ear bleeding bad or anything. It's actually just, you know, pretty decent. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's not a bad thing. So definitely no negatives that I could think of as far as uh, graphics or sound in the game. I think it does an admirable job. 
especially considering that it came out in 1990. Um, now, we talk about control. The control of the game, for the most part, is pretty decent as well. So, I mean, it's kind of the, the theme of this entire video is good, decent, nothing really bad per se. I mean, the when you, when you finally got the, what I'm just going to call the RoboCop suit, when you finally got the RoboCop suit, it's a, a lot more clunky than when you're not in the suit. Uh, in fact, it, it's a lot more difficult to dodge bullets, or you dodge by basically flying around them. So the flying controls are, they're not, they're not bad. I wouldn't say they're even janky, really. They're just very precise. And so once you get used to it, it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, it's even the control itself is not really all that bad. I, I've, I've definitely had other games that the controls just didn't feel very good or responsive. And uh, I, I would say this game is definitely not in that category. It's 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 a responsive enough controls and they, they do the job. So not not a bad thing there either but i don't know it's just um the 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 negativity for the game that i see online just doesn't seem to really be warranted i mean the the biggest negative that i can think of in regards to this game is it's pretty short um it it really is just a little bit on the short side um, I mean, even when I was playing through it initially, using save states and doing my video series, it only took me a few hours to beat it. And personally, I felt like stage five and stage seven were the two most difficult stages in the game. Outside of those two stages, it really wasn't very difficult. Now, granted, there are three difficulty levels easy, normal, and uh, difficult, but, or hard difficulty, excuse me, um, and I just played on normal, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, I, I don't think it's uh, that bad of a game from a um, difficulty perspective. Now, as you see here, I'm actually trying to get one of the achievements of uh, beating the stage with just the, uh, the shot cannon, so <laughs> it's a it doesn't go very well for me, let's put it that way. So you'll probably see a lot of deaths here now. Um, but, you know, overall, the, the game is not too bad, you know, if you're just playing it for the first few times. I got through it pretty easily, and like I said, my second playthrough, around 40 minutes to actually beat the whole thing. So it's not difficult at all. If, if anything, I think the biggest criticism you can have for it is the fact that it is uh, too short. And that's definitely, you know, a fair criticism of the game for sure. Now, I will say nowadays, what I would recommend doing is playing this on, um, you know, using an emulator like I did and getting the achievements. Having said that, the achievement set for it is actually... Um, a little bit nuts to be honest with you there's like uh, 42 achievements for it on retro and um, it's just basically the the initial ones aren't too bad and I was actually able to get most of them on hardcore so I was able to get a lot of the achievements for this game early on but then they came up with a whole bunch of it's kind of like the um, the problem with a lot of these retro achievements on that that site is the fact that sometimes somebody will just come up with like some crazy achievements and just change it for some reason. They definitely did that here for this game, for sure, for certain. But at the end of the day, it's it's definitely you know if you're not worried about getting all of the achievements, it's 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 worth it just to give you some sort of. Um, Something to play for, basically, which I think does improve the replayability of the game substantially. Um, the, 
see what's the words I want to use here. The the game is um like I said, it's already short, not super difficult really, but it's it's a good game. I uh, actually enjoy playing it. Um, you know, as far as Genesis games, I felt like something like Dynamite Heady was far more frustrating th than this game was. So I'm not really sure where the uh, disdain for this game comes from, <laughs> especially someone's thinking it's um, frustrating because it really isn't all that frustrating, at least in my uh, opinion. But um, yeah, I, I I think it's it's not a great game, but it's definitely not a poor game either. So it's pretty average at, at the end of the day. Um, you know, there there are other games that do better with the music and sound. There's other games that have um, better graphics, you know, for the for the system, I should say. But at but it's it's not bad. I mean, obviously there's not a lot of story here because it's an early Genesis game and most of them didn't have a, you know, substantial story. I mean, there is a story to it, but it's just not a substantial one is, is the way I would say it basically. Um but it, it's there. It's it's decent for an early Genesis game. Um, and honestly, I had a pretty decent time playing through this. Even with the um, even the difficult missions, I was able to get through them fairly well, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I I, I think this is a, a a game that's definitely worth playing. I mean, the the asking price on Steam of ninety nine cents is definitely something that. It's not <laughs> a lot of money to invest in if you want to try out this early game. So definitely give it a shot. Uh, it, it's definitely worth it. I would probably rank this, I don't know. I'd probably give it about an 80%, I think, because it is really short. Um, you could probably play through it all in, in one afternoon easy. Um I think the last Genesis game I played, Ghouls and Ghosts, is probably much, much more fun. But this one wasn't that far off, really. So, yeah, it's 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 a good time. I think you'll enjoy it. It's just basically eight levels, so not a lot to it. But it's it's definitely worth a go if you want to get uh, a little bit of that Genesis action fix in. This will definitely um, fulfill that itch. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.